Hey, how's it going, guys? This is Mega Beef Chief, and there is trouble brewing in the world of Resident Evil. That's right, we have a boss battle. The El Gigante, or whatever you want to call him. Um, this guy doesn't have anything new, so. I'm not, oh, well, you can upgrade your gun if you wanted to, but I'm not going to bother until I get the guns that I want to keep throughout the whole game, which I think we get fairly soon. Alright, so run up here. Yeah, make sure you're fully loaded. Um, I'm just going to make some space. Um, <sighs> yeah, just make sure your shotgun and your pistol is fully loaded before you get to here. Don't get scared, it's just a cutscene. What are they doing? Oh, damn! Look at this ogre looking douche that looks pissed. for that. Well, look at the bright side, as long as we don't have to kill those other dudes now. Yeah. Run away. Run, 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 run. Whoops. Run away. He's got a tree. Duck it. Save the dog in the start, you get some help. Yes, it is that dog. Still got a sore leg, but he's fit for fighting. Oh shit, he's still after me. Run. Damage him a bit, and this crazy thing, a bit of lust plaga. If oh, well, you probably don't know what that is yet, but comes out from his back. And we're gonna chop it. Chop, 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 chop. Yeah. Good. Not good. Run away. Run, run, run. Some ammo laying around, and some herbs if you're in trouble. Ah. Is he going to stop chasing me? Uh oh, when you see him do that, you got to run! Because he charges. Shit. Shotgun. Oops. Keep running. Oh, that's just the worst bit about this. You just can't see where he is. Oh, sense of bar. Come on, not now. Get away from me. Run! Duck it. Run away, 
Like, run, 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 run. Ah! We have to try and find some time here to reload. And if we can see him. Whoa! Ah, oh, shit. Come on. Give me some time to reload here. Run away! Oh, shit! That sucked. Ah, uh, gay. Alright. Alright. We heard him. Now we can chop him up. Up his back. Cut, cut, cut. Is he still going? Is he still alive? Yes, we got him. Yeah, you're a pain, boy. Yeah! Yeah, you're dead, pal. Punk. Convenient. Okay, and we got a huge pillar of light surrounding. 15,000 is that a nice find? Alright. Now, if we run around, there's a bunch of herbs and things scattered around. And also, if you didn't. There's three shacks here. And if you didn't knock them all down, you can just run into the shacks and pick up whatever is in there. Empty barrel and. A door that we shall walk through. Don't want to be walking around with no bullets in me gun, so reload. Oh look, the medallions are still around. Um, for this bit here, um, <clears throat> there's a few things that you can do, but what I like to do is, well, I'm about to, I'm about to show you, <coughs> but can you see that there's a dog there, you shoot him, and then you run! Come on! Jump! Keep running! Shotgun. like it. Alright. I think uh, incendiaries look, work pretty well against them as well, so if you get them in a group, just chuck an incendiary and burn them all. Oh, I forgot to grab the boxes. I was actually trying to save some time there by skipping this shack and coming back to it later, but it came back to bite me because I had to double back and come back here to get some more spoils, but shit happens. Alright. If you can remember, up here is the cemetery with the church, and when we were up here before, we couldn't get in here because we needed a symbol or whatever you want to call it. And we happen to have one now, so chuck it in and open the door. Alright, you want to come up here because you find a healthy 3000 Bezetta. Nice. And around here we have a single barrel with a flash grenade. Nice. Okay, now you want to come to the other side and you have a ladder. And we want to, well over there's blocks, so we want to jump onto the chandelier and jump off the chandelier. And we now have to do a little mini game. After I grab these barrels, I'll do it. Damn. Uh, I'll just combine this with this. Geez, I really need to sort out my briefcase as well. Bit of a neat freak.
Well, not really. It's just in this game, I like to keep it nice and neat. All right. In this puzzle, what we want to do is we need to spin the red, blue, and green circle things so they kind of line up to create the one in the middle. And I don't really know how to do it, but I'm going to give it a go. So we need to see... Yeah, that looks all right. Green. Um, no. No. Yep. And blue. Turn. Um. Yeah, I think that's good. Nice. That opens them up, so we can now run around here. And. Yeah, that's. Where we want to go. Don't come! Damn! Take it easy. No! Get away! Calm down. Everything's going to be just fine. My name's Leon. I'm under the president's order to rescue you. What? My father? That's right. And I have to get you out of here. Now come with me. Now I have to take care of this annoying little runt. It's Leon. I've succeeded in extricating my subject. Good work, Leon. I'll send a chopper over right away. Where's the extraction point? There's another trail that you can take to get out of the village. The chopper will pick you up beyond there. Got it. I'm on my way. Okay, I guess we must be pretty close to the end of the game then, eh? We just have a few commands and things to help us control Ashley. But from now on, if Ashley is killed or taken away, it's game over. So that sucks. Just going to combine this with this. See what else we got. I'm going to have to start using some grenades as well. Just to get some, free up some space. Alright, I think we're just going to watch one more cutscene and then that'll be the end of the episode. So I'm just going to climb down the ladder here. And the annoying thing, another annoying thing about Ashley is she can't climb down ladders, so you have to catch her. Alright. Now if we come out here. I'll take the girl. Who are you? If you must know, my name is Osman Sadler, the master of this fine religious community. What do you want? To demonstrate to the whole world our astounding power, of course. No longer will the United States think they can police the world forever. So, we kidnap the President's daughter in order to give her our power. And then... He's got a gross-ass staff. No. Well, I just noticed his eyebrows are pretty freaking thick. Ow! I hate needles. Shot something in my neck. What did you do to her? We just played. Leon's angry. Kid. Oh, there's going to be one hell of a party when she returns. Man, this guy thinks he's hilarious. <laughs> Shave your eyebrows, you. But he's a crap. I thought I might bargain with the president for some donation. Believe it or not, it takes quite a lot of money to keep this church. Up and and money will lead you nowhere, Sadler. Oh, I believe I forgot to tell you that we gave you the same gift when I was unconscious. Oh, I truly hope you like our small but special contributions. When the eggs hatch, you will become my puppets. Involuntarily, you'll do as I say. I'll have total control over your minds. Don't you think this is a revolutionary way to promulgate one's faith? Sounds more like an alien invasion if you ask me. 